People say Chicago is only known for death, violence, and crooked politicians. They say we as a city have no true identity. Truth be told, identity is in lack. We've all just been looking through the wrong lens. I'm taking my message across the world and I'm putting Chicago on my back in the process so that little girls and boys can see that somebody that's walked the same streets as them, that has dealt with the same discrimination and that has feared the same death has done it and they can too. It's time to get over the life that we've been given and it's time to create the life that we want to see. It's time to get over the hump. What's going on world? It's your man Richard Taylor. Look, welcome to another episode of Getting Over the Hump. I am excited. I'm amped wide because greatness is here. Greatness is upon you. Greatness is upon me. Greatness is upon us. And it's our time. Look, I told you season three was going to be like none other so far. And I know right now life probably has you in a hard place. My message for you today is simple. Life happens, but you got to make life happen. I know that right now a lot of us are in transitional places, a lot of us are going through some disparities, a lot of us are going through hard times, but my question to you today, will you make life happen? I had the chance to watch World War Z over the weekend and I love it. As I was watching the movie, it was a scientist in the movie and he made this statement that just stuck with me and he said, life has the tendency to throw out its biggest weakness and flaunt it as its greatest strength. And that's my first point for you today. Yes, life happens, yes, things are hard, but what you have to understand is that life will sometimes throw out its greatest weakness and flaunt it as a strength. It will make you think that it's harder than what it really is, but when you get out there, once you actually get into it, you see that it was something that you can defeat all along. You see that it was something that you could conquer all along. And because we know that life happens, my second point, do you allow life to happen to you or do you make life happen for you? When you look at Oprah Winfrey, when you look at the Beatles, when you look at people like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, these are folks that people said would amount to nothing. They told Oprah she had no future. She had no career in media. They told the Beatles that they had no business in music. But you look at them and they're some of the greatest icons in the world. So do you allow life to happen to you or do you make life happen for you? And my final point, like my boy Michael Jackson said it best, don't stop until you get enough. Sylvester Stallone, when he put out the film, the script for Rocky, they said Sylvester Stallone took years to get this film out to people. And his only requirement was that he played the role of Rocky in the movie. And every producer that he brought it to, every director that he brought the movie to, they said no. They told him that he would never be able to act. They told him that he was not right for the part of Rocky. But he never stopped. He didn't stop, he, didn't, he kept going. The man literally had that mentality of don't stop until you get it. And that's what I'm impressing upon you today. Do not stop until you get to that goal. Do not stop until you make life happen for you. Until you squeeze every follicle, every bit of juice out of life that you need to make greatness happen in your life, to make greatness happen for you. You have the option, you have the choice of making life happen for you. And I'm telling you, when you do that, when you realize that life's greatest strengths quote unquote are really weaknesses that you have passed time and time again when you get it in your mind that you're going to make life happen for you and when you have that mentality of don't stop till you get enough there is nothing that can stop you nothing that can defeat you focus on making life happen yes you might not have it right now but focus put that work in put the heart into it hard work and consistency and once you're done execution execution will take you to another level it's your man richard taylor look i told you we're getting over the hump i'll see you next week